Alright, so I think I officially watched one of the funny- uh, what's up? What's up, big dicks? Okay, so anyway, I just, I just recently watched this for fun. Okay, if, if, I'm, I'll probably forget to leave you guys a link, but go to uh, Jim Fails 2013 is what the video is called. I never realized how much it hurts if you fall on the treadmill. But yeah, you don't just fall on the treadmill. It actually, like, it pushes you back, especially, you know, if you're going on a fast speed. And this video totally shows a bunch of... Okay, I gotta know these, like, weird videos here and... See, man, I gotta make all my thumbnails like this, and then you guys are like, oh my god, tits, click. Then I'll call those videos Road to Mustang. The thumbnail will say Road to Mustang with tits on the... Oh my god. But yeah, when you watch it, you actually kind of feel bad for the people that it happened to, because, like, the, these few people in this video were on it, right, and they were running, and the wall was right behind them, so whenever they fell, like, the treadmill kept taking them, and it kept pushing them back into the wall, so, like, you literally can't, like, get out of the situation unless you roll over to the side, so, like... It's actually kind of painful to watch, It's but it's really fun. I think this one girl fell and like her mom or sister was watching her and like she laughed at her hitting the wall a few times because she hit the wall, bounced off of it, went back on the treadmill and the treadmill pushed her back on the wall. It's, just, oh, it's like ping pong. Yeah, right there is where it actually happened where she fell and she hit the wall. You guys gotta watch this video, it's amazing. But anyways, um, RuneScape wise, let me push this over here. Okay, there we go. Okay, RuneScape wise, not too much has changed. Like I said though before, I do plan on trading a lot more magic very soon. Um, I'm going to be doing some fletching very soon as well and having my friend post an offer for me on Zybez for uh, Ulongo. So hopefully get my fletching up a little bit from 77 because those are very easy levels. Anyways, i got to do a little bit of a confession because I've been getting kind of... Um, I've been getting kind of bored of no life in RuneScape, I guess I can say. The past few days I've played very little. And, um, like, I mean, it doesn't really bother me at all, don't worry. I'm not, like, that big of a nerd. Like, I don't think about, like, RuneScape when I'm at the gym or if I'm out somewhere, okay? No. But, um, yeah, I've been playing a lot less, and, I mean, like, I'm way down below now in the competition for Road to Max, which doesn't really bother me too much. I just gotta say, 07 skilling gets very boring after a while, because every single skill, like, as much as I don't like AFK skills, I do still kind of like, like, I mean, I like them here and there, like, when, when I, uh, want to watch a movie, I want to cut some ivy or do some artisan's workshop smithing on EOC, right? Like, it was more relaxing and kind of more playable. 07, like... This is the most AFK skill I get right here, is like this. This is it. I got a drop fish still, no matter, and then misclick with my freaking mouse. God damn it, just freaking mouse. Well, on the other note, I have been playing on my Pure Law as well. I did a little bit of fishing on it today. I got, I think, about 65, yeah, 65 fishing on my Pure account uh, from Fishing Barbarian, because, like, I seriously think Barbarian fishing at the low levels is, like, by far the best way to train agility, because I went to Barbarian uh, Village training place. Um, and it's just so shit. It's like 150 XP a lap. I think the best is um, either Brimhaven, Brimhaven, whatever. I went there, and like my agility got lowered below 40, and I couldn't use some of the obstacles, so I would miss hitting that post thingy, so I wouldn't get any tickets. So that was shit. Um, going to Pyramid Plant, not Pyramid Plant, uh, the Agility Pyramid, annoying, because you almost get to the top, and then you fall all the way down when you're like almost there. It's just like, oh, well, I was about to get like a bonus experience, and now I get nothing. But yeah, Jody is probably the worst skill to train to low levels. But yeah, I've been working on my pure quite a bit. I um, haven't done too many quests yet. I'm just working on getting uh, 48 of Jody for the Apatol thingy for the for the gloves. Um, I already got the 70 cooking part done. The, I still need my one more mining level, a few thieving levels, uh, some fire making levels, I believe, and then a whole bunch of quests. Um, but yeah, training wise, I'm still 93 strength. Probably will get 94 later on today or tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of just, I'm excited to start making PK videos, to be honest with you guys. I'm excited to actually go PKing, because I haven't done it at all yet ever since uh, 07 came. But yeah, I'm not obviously done with, like, maxing, so don't worry about that. I still am going to max, it's just, like, look at this skill. This skill, you, half of you guys might know what it's like to do mining, because you guys had to get 64 Lunars. Imagine doing that 50 more times, yeah, about 50 more times, because level 60 is like 270k XP, so... Yeah, imagine doing that 50 more times. You cannot hate me for not wanting to do that. It's really, I've already done it twice because of my pure account, little 59 mining. But yeah, like it's, yeah, when I think of all the skills I have to still train, room crafting's nowhere near done. This shit's going to take a long time. And I've also been playing a little bit of EOC on my peer with um, doing some bosses and stuff like that. I'm currently doing Armadale Boss, still working on a video for it, which is going to take forever to make. But yeah, I gotta say, I kind of, in a way, hope that Gower's Vision comes to 07 very soon, because I, I actually want to go there. I'm actually down to go there uh, with my account and hopefully get some sexy loots.
just kind of switch it up a little bit, I guess. I mean, I don't really, I guess, have to go for experience all the time, but I'm just, I, I mean, sometimes I just have these little moods where I stop getting experience and then I go right back to it like the next week or the next day even. So uh, maybe I might be in that phase, but I just, I just, I can't play right now. And yes, also seeing that it's now summertime, seeing that people no lifing, like, like a few people are playing about 16 hours a day now, and it's just like, like, I, I, no. The most I get out of my day if I do that is eight hours of sleep. That, that leaves me with zero minutes to take a shit. I can't do that. I don't got no bottle down here. Yeah, yeah, I think someone's selling me you logs. Last time I tried to trade someone that... Okay, oh yeah, this person. Wait, wait, wait. Ignore this. This guy right here, everyone I him to ignore. I traded him to buy you logs. He trades me 13.8k maples. I'm just like, why Why do you gotta be a faggot? Oh, look, they're actually you logs. Oh my god, they're not scamming me. Oh, this person's getting general rank in my friend. You are very slow. It took you that long to... Oh, impressive overall rank. Thank you. Well then, impressive legs, girl. What's up? This chick looks me up before she sells... What am I, like, not worthy of your U-logs or something? Hmm, this person's stats aren't as good as mine. You don't get my U-logs. I'm sorry, you're not qualified. Anyways, I'm going to continue smithing for now, and I'll continue the second part to this video very, very soon. I'm just going to go continue watching a little bit more of my movies, and I should be back in a few. Oh, shit, half key from random. Oh, that shit's nice. I think this is the best item you can actually get from a random. That's kind of sexy. Anyways, guys, I think I'm starting to uh, think about doing prayer, to be honest. I'm thinking about starting to buy 99. I've noticed Dragon Bones have been doing nothing but going down lately. Um, they're around 1.3k each right now-ish and 1.4-ish. I'm sure I can buy all mine for probably 1.4 in like a day. Um, I think it's like around 50,000 or something. Yeah, I'm like level 70, so it's around 50,000 Dragon Bones, which is awesome. But it's going to be nice doing prayer. Prayer is going to be like a very quick 29 levels, just like that, basically. I'll probably stop at level 98 again, obviously, because I want to keep all my stats at 98. Um, plus, I think 98 is uh, as high as you really need it for 126 combat. So after I do that, all I got to do is finish off maxing my defense, basically, and I'll be 126 combat, which is kind of nice. But yeah, I still need to go back to room crafting to make that money to actually buy the prayer because I don't want to have to sell anything to actually uh, do that. Besides the sharks that I have and the gold ores and gold bars. I mean, I'll sell that stuff, obviously, but uh, I don't want to have to sell my pure S and like gnats yet. I, actually, I don't really have any gnats yet. I transferred them all to my pure um, just because I wanted to sell them off that account. The only thing that sucks right now is gnats are kind of going down slowly too. So, I mean, I guess, I mean, it's not very really nice when everything's going down. It kind of sucks. I guess it kind of balances out like it's exactly the same thing. Um, if everything goes down, then, I mean, everything's exactly the same. It's just a different price, but it doesn't feel as good, I guess I can say. Because there will be a point where everything just reaches ALK price, and then you'll have, like, EOC GP, basically. ALKing whips all day. I've always wondered, what is worse? Is it having more money or having more items? I've, I've, I've never been able to completely uh, find out what, what, what the right answer is there. Because, I mean, the more items you have the less money you can make from doing things that, you know, you get items from. But the more money there is, the, like, the less your money is really worth, I guess, is what I... Th I don't know, it's, just, uh, it's kind of a hard argument. I think I'd rather have more money in the game and less items in the game, because that will mean that the items will be very, very high, and that will mean that bossing and Slayer will be very fun. I was wondering what your guys' opinion on that is. Do you guys rather have more items, or would you guys rather have more money? What, you can't really... I mean, I would, I would love there to be very limited of both, but um, obviously we can't just... Yeah, but anyway. I'm hoping next video I can probably top off 98 cooking, which shouldn't take too long, probably like a day, and continue fletching. I have around 7,000 U logs in my bank right now. I bought some more. Um, and I also have uh, like 3,000 cut U. So uh, hopefully I'll be getting a lot of fletching experience very soon. After level 85, I can also move on to Mage Longs, which is a little bit of a bonus. I think it's like a 190, 187 experience each. Something around there, and U Longs like 150. So it's a tiny bit more experience, but you know, whatever. Hey, I'm going to wrap the video up there, guys. Uh, I'm a little bit tired right now. I'm going to be going to bed probably. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. And I'll see you guys next video with hopefully a lot more progress and a lot of gains. I'll see you guys next time.